Timmy, when we first meet him, he's dealing with a lot of pain um, and a lot of issues from his past that he hasn't been able to work through. And it's very clear that he's, he's hurting. And through interacting with the coven and gaining their trust and their friendship, he transforms into what we come to know as, as Woke Timmy. Hi, I'm Nicholas Galitzine, and these are my five lessons that you can learn from Woke Timmy in the Craft Legacy. One thing Woke Timmy can teach you is that sexuality is not this binary thing that I think we kind of thought it was in the past. He kind of perceives it like I think a lot of people perceive it in, in, in modern society as being this kind of thing on a spectrum. And, and it really kind of doesn't matter where you fall on that spectrum as long as you're, you're honest and you're caring about other people. I think it was incredibly refreshing being able to kind of play with the notion of, of, of someone who's very much a tormentor, but very tormented on the inside. I mean, in this case, you know, he's dealing with the early death of, of his mother when he was very young, um, and also frustration and self-hatred around his fluid sexuality. I think this is an issue that like a lot of people have experienced in their life in, in, in one point or another. I think everyone feels the pressure from a certain age to, to fit into any different kind of group because we're very tribal as people and there's kind of safety in being able to kind of view things as binary or one or the other. It's incredibly important to find a group of friends or a coven who support you for who you are and love you regardless. Because I think we all fall into traps at times uh, by trying to be one of the cool kids. And I think we see in the film how liberating it is for, for Timmy when he just decides to be himself and how accepted he is because of that. Female empowerment doesn't mean men versus women. It's not pitting one group against another. As a lot of people might not know because they associate feminism with one thing, I myself as a feminist, it's all about sort of bringing equality to the table because too many demographics have kind of been pulled to the side, uh, alienated. And I think this movie is very much a celebration of female empowerment. And we can kind of see as the story progresses, how gratifying it is to Timmy to, to be a part of such a powerful group of women. I think another lesson woke Timmy can teach us is that bullying is, is just not cool. We don't know how many among us are witches, you know, in private. And if you decide you want to mess with a witch or bully them, I mean, you can get thrown across a hallway into some lockers, which is just very bad for your physical health overall. So don't bully. The last thing we can learn from Wok Timmy, I think, is live life with as, as much kindness uh, as possible and uh, to, to treat other people how you'd want to be treated. This sort of positivity, I think, that kind of transcends through all of us when we're able to be kind and open and accepting of each other just really creates um I, I think such joy within within the coven and for me as an actor being able to kind of live that and experience that was just so so enjoyable so yeah be nice <laughs> bonus clean your dishes it's not cool when you make other people do it they don't want to do it any more than you do just don't be a pig